Hello and welcome back to the channel everyone. This is your usual Paras and you are watching yet another episode of the FIFA 20 Chelsea Football Club Career Mode and it is episode 11 today that we will be playing and it is a massive massive episode once again because of the fact that we are in a, such a fantastic form really. Uh, everything is just going fantastically well. We, the boys are playing great and in the last episode as you guys know that we defeated Juventus Football Club and it was some wonderful results in the month of October, my birthday month. So it was a good month for me, I think. We had Valencia first of all, we won that game. Then we had a game against Southampton away from home at St. Mary's. So it was a grinding victory, 1-0. Absolutely the kind of, I think, victories that somehow make you as a championship champion material. Then we welcomed Newcastle United at home and it was a 4-0 victory against Newcastle. But the big game was against Piemonte Calcio, which was a, which was a, which was a, which was a Champions League game and we won that three goals to nil. I mean the attack, our attack against our young inexperienced attack against the the experienced uh, defense that Juventus have to score three goals and then to keep a clean sheet against the likes of Cristiano Ronaldo and and the likes of uh, Dybala, I mean it was first fantastic overall. And then we had a game against Burnley and a game against West Bromwich Albion in the Carabao Cup which really was the icing on the cake where we played our second choice team, lots of youngsters in that team. Many of them were in the teen, are, are teenagers, I think. In the defense, we had three teenagers and we had four players playing in the defense. So that goes on, goes on to show you how wonderfully we are developing this squad into. I think the players are responding in the right manner and also the kind of squad that we are building right now is just absolutely wonderful. It was a 6 nil victory against West Bromwich Albion in the Carabao Cup. The round of 16 game which now and now we are in the quarterfinals of the Carabao Cup and we have uh, we will be facing Leicester City in that so anyhow this was in the last episode I think we, I just wanted to make a quick recap of the of the of the story so far so as you can see Rudiger is already fuming at his role in the squad and uh, Anyhow, let's get straight into today's game now. It's a game against Watford and that will be... I think it's away from home. And we have an international management offer from Australia Football Association. Look, there are lots of uh, international offers for, with, with us. I think now it's Australia that we have. We have already have Russia as well as Brazil. So. We have lots to ponder upon, I think, when it comes to the international uh, management. It's an away game to Watford and we have lots of changes to be made. So Abraham in place of Bashuai, I think there are so many changes that we need to be, that we need to make because of the fact that we played the second choice team against West Bromwich Albion. So Barclay and Kante in central defensive midfield and where is Ruben? Loftus Cheek is now injured. So who should we bring in his place? I think Kovacic is the is the is the safe bet. And we're going to bring in Zuma and Christensen. Still no place for for uh, for Rudiger. And then we have Alonso on the left back as well as Espilicueta in place of Resi Jane. So this is the and also Kappa in, in, in goal in place of Blackman. So these are the kind of changes, these are the number of changes we made to the squad and look at the squad that we have right now and the squad that we had before. So this is what we did in that round of 16 game against West Bromwich Albion in the Carabao Cup. I think the squad is sorted out so let's now get straight into the game now. So here we are at Watford today and it's a massive contest for this man in particular because he is in, a, in the form of his life and anyhow we have a massive contest in our hand as a team as well because it's not going to be easy at Watford. I'm telling you this, these are very 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 tricky uh, places to be 
so it will be a massive contest for the boys and we need to be up for it i think the title race is up and running and we need to widen this gap before the crucial game champions league games for instance come up we need to widen this gap and also we all i care about is playing good football and that is exactly what we are going to Thank do today we play to win it now let's do it Zuman as well. Nice interception. It's Pulisic. It's Pulisic once again. Can he beat the defender? No, he finds Barkley who looks for Abraham. Should have looked for Pulisic. It's Ross Barkley. There is Christian Pulisic. He does so well here. Here is Christian Pulisic. Looks for Abraham. Yes. As usual from Abraham and it's a goal it's a lead for us and a fantastic run from Christian Pulisic and what a fantastic finish from Tammy Abraham his 11th of the season beautiful finish and a beautiful run as well from Christian Pulisic between the legs of the defender and it's the, just the kind of stuff we wanted for our team it's Tammy Abraham who scores his 11th goal and it's a one goal lead for us so early into the game. Fantastic stuff. I think the movement from Christian Pulisic was just fantastic. And here's a chance to attack for Watford. Tridini, beautiful finish from Tridini and it's a goal for Watford and their level. No, it's Hernandez who scores. I thought it was Troidini, but it is Hernandez who scores. Fantastic stuff. Beautiful pass from success. The slight tackle from Christensen really doesn't do anything. And in the end, it was a low driven shot from Hernandez, which beats Kepa. Oh, that was a good, good, good finish really on that ball. It's the fourth goal for Hernandez in the Premier League. Zich. He does well. Can he find the right pass? Abraham. No, he's offside. Now it's a big opportunity. Hits the bar and Christensen is there to clear it off. What an opportunity for Watford. Kovacic does well. Here is Kante. Now it's a chance for a counter attack, really. So much space for Christian Pulisic. What can he do? And he wastes. Dini just over. Oh, that was the opportunity for Troidini. So much space really at the far end for Troidini and he was just not on target. So this is a good, good, good bit of play from Watford and they are putting us under pressure. It's Kovacic. Looks for Espilicueta. Final chance really. No, he gives the ball away. And it is 1-1 at half time. So this is pressure stuff from Watford. And we need to be much more precise in the penalty box really. So the second half is underway. And it is Chelsea who kicks it off. Is Hudson Odoi. Hudson Odoi as well. Does pretty well. Hudson and away now, Casab. As Hernandez, he does, he does so well, really. Here's Hernandez for Watford. Hernandez still, nice success, just misses it. It's Kante. So much space. Polisic, no. Barkley, yes. Come on. What a strike from Ross Barkley. 
Oh, that was close. Somehow, Ross Barkley was able to finish it. It was tight, really, in the penalty box. But what a finish, really, from Ross Barkley. And we get the goal we needed. We get the lead we wanted. And it's a great start to the second half. It's Conte. No, it's a poor pass from Conte. Really unlike him. And it's a beautiful goal from Hernandez. Watford are level once again. And it's that man, Hernandez, who scores again against for Watford. It's a beautiful finish once again. And a mistake from Angolo Conte. So unlike him, but Watford were able to pounce onto it. Look at that for the finish. First time finish. Again, low driven from Hernandez. Nothing Kepa can do really. And it's 2 2 here. It's at Sunday. At Abraham. No, it's a beautiful save. These changes, the midfielders have been refreshed. And it is Michi Bachua. He has an opportunity now. Last 19 minutes of this game left, so we have we don't have much time left really. Here is Hudson Adoy who finds Jorginho. It's just wide. Oh, the connection was right, but it was a beautiful, beautiful pass from Hudson Adoy and first of all from Michi Bachua. But what an opportunity for. Jorginho. Bashuai as well. Finds Jorginho. Beautiful strike from Jorginho. For the short corner is Mason Mark. Is that Sinodoy? Is Bashuai and he scores. Beautiful. Oh, the move has paid off for us. It is Michi Batshuayi who scores and that's what I was talking about. That was what I was talking about. Giving an opportunity to this man, Michi Batshuayi. He has been fantastic. Look at that for a finish from Michi Batshuayi. Thankfully, Jorginho jumped on that. Which meant it was not offside but a fantastic finish really from Michi Batshuayi. And we lead Watford by three goals to two. This wonderful game continues to excite us. Watford can sense an equalizer, but we need to be careful. Mount does well, Mount well, does well. Sama has an opportunity. Dridini, what a wonderful save from Kappa. No, he's offside as well. Oh, that was scary, really. Looks for Bashuai who gives the ball away now. And but that is the end of the game. It's the final whistle. And it's once again a victory for us. Exactly what we wanted in this game. And our winning streak continues. And the boys were fantastic. It was a great, great contest, really. Watford really tested us. But I think these are the kinds of these are the kind of games that we really need for our boys to just be on their toes, I guess. In the end, it was that Michi Bachuai winner which gives us the three points. So a great win once again and it's that man, Tammy Abraham, who's on the score sheet as well. So as far as the points table is concerned right now, we're leading the, group, the Champions League group and that is fantastic. But also, we are leading our Premier League Group as a table as well, sorry. And it is Brighton and Hove Albion who has lost another game and now has slipped to the third position. And we have Norwich City now as the team who is at number two. But we have a fantastic game in our hand today, as it is it, it is Juventus Football Club. We face away from home. I don't know what their home right now is in this game because the Allianz Stadium that is the home of Juventus Football Club is not at all in this game so it's with uh, pairs so let's see what stadium we will be playing in and as far as the team is concerned I think I'm going to give an opportunity uh, start to Bachuai 
and Pedro and Kennedy. I think we are com quite comfortable uh, in the in the in the group, the Champions League group. We are quite comfortable in it. Okay, well, let's simulate this game, and it will be uh, a defeat. It's a defeat by a single goal, and it's Paulo Dybala's 23rd minute goal that really proves out to be the difference. Anyhow, I think we didn't really, I think, feel the best side in this game. But still, it was a good contest, I guess, to keep it 1-0 away from home. So, the next game for us is a Premier League game before which I want to talk to your guinea. Now, thanks for listening and giving me an extended run in the team. I'm much happier now. I expect more from you, really. I expect you will keep improving yourself and you need to meet and exceed expectation if you want to play week in week out so i think that's my clear stance on jorginho so we have a game at home against crystal palace today which will be a vital contest really because first of all we need to keep our form in the premier league going and we need to showcase exactly what this team is all about at home really we need to make Stamford Bridge the fortress where the opposition sides are intimidated before even the before the even the kickoff really so Pulisic and Hudson Odoi both comes back into the side I am going to give a run to Jorginho and give Ross Barkley the start for this one Alonso and Zuma Christensen and Espilicueta. That will be my my defense. I think that's the defense I'm much more comfortable with. Also, I think that will be it. These are the changes that I'm going to make. So it's Crystal Palace who visits Stamford Bridge, and it will be a massive contest for us because Crystal Palace isn't the most easiest. I think. In the Premier League, I think there are no easy games. So, it will be an interesting game. So, let's get straight into the game. So, here we are at Stamford Bridge as Tammy Abraham practices a penalty. And that was a poor one, really. I don't know why he's practicing penalties right now. But, it's a wonderful rainy night here at Stamford Bridge. And it is Crystal Palace who is visiting us today. And it will be a massive contest once again because Crystal Palace is a wonderful side and they have done really well in the past couple of seasons at Stamford Bridge. So we need to be careful about that. As far as the, the predictions is concerned, it's 38 goals in 32 games for, Chris, for Tammy Abraham. Although that is just too much to ask for such a youngster but he has been doing fantastically well so rightfully so so much is expected from him wonderful night really at the Stamford bridge and this uh, there's lots expected really Jorginho is now beginning to find his form and what can i say about tammy abraham he's been just wonderful for us so far so the first aim that i gave to myself was to make Stamford bridge a fortress really and that is exactly what I want from this game really. There's no point or uh, there's, there's, there's no really room to lose any point at, at home really. I want to make it as a fortress. Uh, well, there's Ross Barkley. Ross Barkley. Here is Ross Barkley. Let's look for Kante. Looks for Abraham. What a great interception. Oh, here's Buckley. Oh, what a strike. What a strike. Oh, that was fantastic stuff from Ross Buckley. That was wonderful from Ross Buckley, really, to be honest with you. Wins the ball fantastically. Oh, great interception. And look at that for a strike right in the top corner. And nothing that the Crystal Palace goalkeeper can do. Oh, that was one of the best strikes, really. What a start. Here is uh, N'Golo Kante. 
Looks for Ross Barkley. Who does well? Ross Barkley! Oh, hits the bar! And N'Golo Kante puts it in! And it's a two goal advantage for us! It is 2 0. But what a strike once again by Ross Barkley! 1 0 1. And in the end, that bar and hits the bar, but it falls straight to N'Golo Kante, who does exceptionally well. I'm telling you, there was still a lot to be done, but look at that one from Ross Barkley. Hits the bar. And a great, great bit of finish from N'Golo Kante falls straight into his feet and on the volley really he, the control was wonderful on that shot there is Ross Barkley might look for the run of Kristen Pulisic who's fantastically well Kristen Pulisic no another chance for us there will be a minimum of three minutes of having time Hudson Odoi, a beautiful strike. Beautiful strike from Hudson Odoi. Does well to beat the defender as well. But a great save from the Crystal Palace keeper. Stop no point taking it along. Here's Hudson Odoi. Hudson Odoi, beautiful. Absolutely wonderful from Hudson Odoi. And it's a three-goal lead for us now. He's been fantastic, really, for us from that short corner, really. Goes for the short, falls fortunately to Hudson Odoi only. And in the end, what a finish. He keeps his composure and doesn't really give it up. I think that was the difference. So it's another goal for us. It's a three-goal advantage for us. And it's that man Hudson Odoi who scores his second goal in the Premier League. And it is half time whistle here at the Stamford Bridge. And it's a three goal lead for us. It's 3 0 at half time. Just the kind of first half that I, wanted, that I wanted, really. Dominating performance. Does well and Golo Kante does well. Here is Ross Barkley. Does, oh, 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 does extremely well. Here is Ross Barkley still. Looks for Hudson Adoy. Hudson Adoy now. That's a great save. Here's Jorginho. Here is Ross Barkley who might look for the run of Kristen Pulisic. And Golo Kante, wonderful strike from Angolo Kante. And it is 4-0. What a strike from Angolo Kante. And what a movement really from our boys. Great pass and move, pass and move. And what a finish from Angolo Kante. It's his second goal in the game. Great stuff, great finish. And his second goal in the Premier League as well. So great stuff for N'Golo Kante after a pretty bad performance against Watford last time around in the Premier League. He does pretty well in this one. Makes up for it. Ross Barkley once again. Looks for the run of Christian Pulisic. He finds Ross Barkley. And it's a great save. There is Ross Barkley. Pulisic. There is Ross Barkley. Looks for the run. Looks for the run. Looks for the run. And what a finish from Ross Barkley. And what a fifth goal, really. Oh, that is champion stuff, really, from Ross Barkley. World class from Ross Barkley exactly what we wanted look at that for a run and look at that for a finish oh the turn and the finish was even better than the run he made Ross Barkley what a counter 
But all credit goes to Ross Barkley. What an individual effort that was. But it's his finishing which, which has been disappointing so far. Here is a run for Conor Wickham. Here is Zaha and a great interception from Aspilicueta. I think it's time to substitute Kurt Zuma because he's really now threatening me because he might get the red and I don't want that at all. Who do we have in option? We don't have a defender out there. So I'm going to ask. Let's bring in Mason Mount. He can play in place of Jorginho and Jorginho can play in place of Kante and Kante can play in the center defensive position because I don't have any defender in the in the in the in the, uh, in the substitute. So uh, I don't want to substitute Barkley because he's playing so well. Yeah, I'm going to give a chance to be, to Bachuai. And a chance to Kennedy because Polisic really hasn't performed well. So Tammy Ibrahim, Christian Polisic and Kurt Zuma have been taken off. It's going to be Kennedy, Mason Mount and Bachuai coming on. Here's a corner for Crystal Palace. It's a big, big, big. It's a high corner, really. Oh, he misses it. And Townsend scores. That was really loose from our defense. Andros Townsend scores for Crystal Palace. Box. Ross Barkley. Nice, but straight into the hands of the goalkeeper. Jorginho is Bashuai, might look for the one of Kennedy who has so much space really, should finish it off, Kennedy, no, it's a great save again from it's Townsend, but Kappa is there and that will be the end of this game I guess. It is indeed and it's another fantastic win for us. It's 5-1 at home and it was against Crystal Palace. What a performance from the boys once again and rightfully so. We are so, so, so delighted with the result. This man Ross Barclay was absolutely amazing in this game and Golo Kante scored two goals. So we cannot be more happier really. And the fans are just ecstatic, really. It's a 5-1 dropping of Crystal Palace. And it was fantastic. So what a performance. And we extend our lead, really, to four points now. And it was a wonderful, wonderful game of football at home. So great results with a win over Watford. And now a win over Crystal Palace at home as the boys leave for the international break anyhow it's the international break and we will be facing manchester city away from home in the game after the international break but this is it from today's episode guys i will be wrapping it up thank you so much for watching this video guys it was fantastic great performances once again although we lost a game to Piemonte Calcio in the Champions League group stage game but anyhow we are in a comfortable position and still leading that group so thank you so much for watching this video guys uh, you guys are awesome I think the love and support that you are, that you guys have been showing to this series has, is fantastic so thank you so much if you are new to the channel do hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon right next to it so that you never miss an episode Thank you so much once again. This is your usual para signing off. Take care and keep gaming guys. Bye-bye.